What's up Rebels, my name is Vardy Guy. welcome back to the channel and today we are playing Moss. This is a PlayStation VR game that has been getting quite the attention lately just because it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now I don't have a lot of experience with platform games. Where am I by the way? This is like a church or something, no? But, I mean, I am excited to try this one out, because like I said, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And I love storytelling games, so if there's a good story in there, then I'm all for it. Okay, let's uh, jump in. Okay. Oh, oh! Wow! Wait, do I need to catch that thing? Ah, next page. Moss. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Yes, please. Ooh, I'm liking this already. Okay. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. Wow, this is good. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. Wow. The King's Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Okay, I'm already really digging this kind of story. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. All right. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching oh no. his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. Wow. Cool. Is that me? Is that gonna be me? I hope it's gonna be me. I like it already. A good story to begin with. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Oh, it's a she. Oh. was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, 
but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. There. Watch it. He's gone. He's gone. The hell is that? What is that? Is is that like a piece of the glass? Glass relic? I think so. Yeah, put it in there. Oh wait. Hey, that was exactly me. Not sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. Ah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night would follow. Come on, Quill. Huh? 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 Oh, wait, are we supposed to go there? No, I don't think we're supposed to go there. Oh! This is much more than just a platform. This feels like Zelda now. Ha! Huh. Huh. Come on. Oh, I'm liking this. Ooh, this feels good. Okay. Oh. What? Oh wait. Of course, I I'm a character myself. I'm the dude with the mask. Oh. Even further? Oh wait, you need to. Oh wait, no, that's fine. I can I can climb up there. Ah, okay, so it's it's two characters that I'm controlling. Myself and a little quill over here. Okay, get that. Come on. Ah. Oh, the animations are so nice. What's that sound? There's something there. Come on, quill. Let's go and get that. Oh, wait, let's first look in here. Okay. Where's my face? I look like one of those creatures from uh, how's it called again that movie? Um, Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. That's pretty cool. Okay, I can drop on here, right? Oh no, I can't. Where do I need to drop on then? Uh, the one, the movie that I mean is that you have like uh, Princess Mononoke, a Spirited Away. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Wait, can I jump there? Uh, ooh, okay, no fall damage. That's good. Oh wait, I can pull this stuff again. Uh, there we go. What? Let me pull. Yeah, I know, I pulled it. Don't tell me what to do, Quill. I know exactly what I'm doing. I heard some footsteps. Maybe we are not alone. Maybe there are other creatures lurking in the dark. Huh! Yeah, we made it. Oh, over here. Chop, chop. Hmm. Pull it back now? I think so. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Come on. Ah, oh, man, I like this little mouse already. Okay, what is that? Is that another piece of the glass? Uh, I unlocked an achievement. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's, there's the house. Quill? Oh no, they locked it. Well, I bet they'll open up for me. I'm like a warrior. Look at me, cha cha cha. Wait, I want to check this out first. Ha! Cha cha. Oh, I'm so strong. Oh man, I didn't know that that platformers could work that well in virtual reality. I like this. It's not really like a you know platformer platformer. It's more like a. I mean, you got like your little scenes just like in a platformer, but all the rest is quite a. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. I don't know what that does though. Yeah, I like it. Ooh, see that combo? Combo breaker. Yeah, yeah. Combo breaker. Okay, um, we need to get up here somewhere. Ooh, mushrooms. Let's go and check those out first. Awesome, you can do like those kind of moves. Huh. Huh. Oh, I can still get up there. All right. And jump. Jump. Yes. Found. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I found. Yeah. Jump over. No? Can we go in here? <gasps> Woo -hoo. Wait, I'm here now, no? Or do it? Ah, oh, maybe I just need to ring the door? Yeah! Okay. Alright, I can just... Alright, there we go. I'll just open it myself. Maybe I should close it too. No? Oh, okay. Oh, there's a little person here. Hello? No, 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 don't, no, no, don't, don't, no, no, do this. How do I talk to him? No, <laughs> I already killed him almost twice. Wait, can I? No. Okay, I think he's just like a guard because he has like a metal head on. Yeah. Here we go. Hey. No. Yeah. Oh, there's a little mouse playing here. Come on, let me strike. Yeah, yeah. See that? Oh. Sorry. Come on, everybody inside. Ah, oh, that's cool. You got a fluffy tail. Oh, what is this guy doing? Hello? 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 <laughs> I don't think I can talk to them. It would be neat if I could, though. Wait, maybe I should just press all the buttons? No, I don't think any of the buttons does anything. Okay, this is some kind of puzzle. I can jump on there. Don't worry. Okay, no worries. We'll figure this out. No, no, jump, jump. No, okay, it doesn't work. So I need to get him up there, I guess. And there's nothing here that I can do. That, that's what closes the bridge. Yeah. Oh wait, can you just like... Woo! Oh, um... Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, though. 
Oh, he's back. Okay. No worries. Oh, wait. If I... Okay, just a second. Okay. On here. And then I'll go here. There, there's already one part, right? What else do I need to... Or can I just go... Yeah, I can. <laughs> there we go. And now... I can go up here. <gasps> no! Darn it. <laughs> no! I still slowed it down. I knew I wasn't able to do it. But still I tried. See, I, I told you I was not very good at, at playing platformer games. Is this is true platformer style, right? Okay. And... Okay. There's a scroll there as well. Right? Maybe if I jump... Down here... Then across! Yeah. There we go. Look at this. Got a stone or something. We can climb up here. <clears throat> here. Next to me mushrooms. What's he doing? Why is he walking so slow? Okay, and now... There! Pull it! Awesome. Thanks to her new friend, Bill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Priceless grains from the hourglass? Ah, you saved time. That's a neat way of saying it. Ah. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. <laughs> what is that squirrel doing here? Oh, it's blocking the road further, so I have to go inside. Smart game design. I'm liking it so far. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! <laughs> Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Oh, oh, I need to turn it page. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. I oh, know. Where did you find this? Roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Why is he angry? Just west of the clearing? She explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous. He said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. I've chosen? I, I didn't mean to play the burden on anyone. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. Oh no. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. 
Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Yeah, well, that wasn't... You weren't counting on me, uncle. And I'm the reader. Okay. Hello? Hey. Hey. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. We're going to need them. Quill called out. Hey, Starling, wait! Awesome! Oh man, I'm really enjoying this. I hope you guys are as well. I'm going to leave this episode here, but I'm going to dive back into this game very, very soon. Let me know in the comments box below what you guys thought about it. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be as fast as me, Hit that bell. See you later.